Hi everyone, it's Dee from Gastrofork here. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, or any videos. <laughs> a lot of things have happened in the last couple of years. Namely, I've had a little baby boy. So you may see him in some of the vlogs I do, if and when I get around to them. Being a mom on top of working has been kind of hard to balance uh, all the things that I like doing, including, you know, making videos. But hey, we're back, we're here, and that's all that matters. Well, I'm back here today because I have partnered up with Hippie Snacks. They challenged me to make their new cauliflower crisps from scratch. <laughs> so I want to share with you what they look like. They have a couple of flavors. So they have these two flavors, the cauliflower crisps in original and classic ranch. I don't know if you guys ever had hippie snacks before, but I've had their coconut um, crisps or coconut clusters rather, and they are delicious. I love them very much. They're a really healthy snack and I was so excited to hear that they have other things like cauliflower and also avocado as well. So I've never tried these before and I haven't tried their avocado, which I do have here as well. So I will try them, probably not on camera today, maybe some other day. I thought we could try these out today and then we'll get to cooking. Let's try the original first. So obviously these are plant-based. So the ingredients in this is cauliflower, coconut milk, pumpkin seeds, brown rice flour, tapioca starch, sesame seeds, water, sea salt, and mustard flour. And that's it. It's a pretty healthy snack. Alright, let's try it. It smells delicious. Alright, so there are these circular little crisps and mm, they smell so good. Try it out. It's good. I like it. You wouldn't even know it's cauliflower because it just doesn't taste like it at all. Like, you get the sesame seeds and the pumpkin seeds, and um, oh, there's seeds in here. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so, you get those flavors. Those are kind of the more bigger flavors in this. Like, you get the you get a lot more of the seed flavors rather than the cauliflower because cauliflower I feel like is the kind of vegetable that just complements different food and it absorbs you know the sauces and the flavors when you do cook with them. I personally wouldn't eat it by itself. I'd probably like dip it into some ranch or some sort of like guacamole or something that would be delicious. Now we're gonna try the classic ranch flavor. This has a couple more ingredients, obviously, because of the ranch dressing. It's still the cauliflower, the coconut milk. Oh, interesting, the pumpkin seeds, brown rice flour, okay, there's vinegar, tapioca starch, sesame seeds. Sesame Street. I'm a mom when I say sesame Street. Sesame seeds, water, hemp seeds, sea salt, onion powder, garlic powder, dried parsley, chai flakes, dill weed, and black pepper. Let's try this. It smells so good. I love ranch, as you can tell. It smells really good, that's why I'm sniffing it. And I don't know if you can really see, but I can definitely see the sesame seeds and the pumpkin seeds and I can see the dill. So it's not anything like processed. It's actual real ingredients inside this, which is really good. Mmm, this is good. I mean, one more for size. I like it. Again, very crispy. It's got the sesame seeds and the pumpkin seeds in it. And then kind of like the ranchy flavor of the dill and everything. And it's not too overwhelming, but it's it's enough to fill your craving, which is good. And again, you can even tell if it's cauliflower. So now that we've tasted these delicious cauliflower crisps, I'm going to try and make my own. With my recipe, it's a little bit different just because I cannot make these with all the equipment I have at home. I would think that maybe if you made something like this, I would I would imagine you would have to pulse the cauliflower and then kind of just bake it down or fry it so that it's crispier. You can add the seeds and whatnot to it and also the flavors that you would like. You'd probably need a binding 
kind of ingredient into it. I believe the tapioca starch is probably the binder, but I might be wrong because I am not a baker. The flour obviously helps with binding everything as well together in the water. If you want to truly make these type of crisps, I would suggest going that route where you would just blend everything up and mix them all together and then kind of just either uh, scoop them out or pipe them out into like a baking sheet. Either bake it or you can deep fry it. The way that I did my recipe is a little bit different simply because I knew that I couldn't really achieve this level of crispiness and deliciousness. So I'm just going to walk you through my recipe. It's a little bit more on the easier side, I guess you would say. You also have a chance to win a whole bunch of these snacks, not just the cauliflower ones, but also these ones, the avocado sea salt and the avocado guacamole. So just stick around until the end of the video to hear all the details about how you can win all these snacks and have them too because they're just delicious. Then we're going to meet back here and we're going to talk about it. The ingredients you'll need to make roast cauliflower crisps are a head of cauliflower, some salt and pepper to taste, I use sea salt, and some vegetable oil. I'm using olive, but avocado oil works too. Wash your cauliflower and dry it off as much as possible. Crack the stock part off and cut the cauliflower to your liking. If you want to get closer to a chip, I'd suggest using a mandolin slicer. Toss all your ingredients together and then let it rest for a couple minutes. I let mine rest for about 5 to 10 minutes. On a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, spread out the cauliflower as much as you can. The oven should be set to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll be baking this for 20 minutes, turning halfway. So we're back. Clearly you saw that didn't really turn out anything like these snacks at all, but that's fine. And I kind of knew that going into it that I would not be able to duplicate this because it is quite a lengthy process. The recipe that I used is a little bit more, it's not more of a snack, it's more like a dinner type of side dish. <laughs> it was, it's not even close to this and it was obviously very time consuming. If I were to look for a snack, a healthier snack, I would probably just stick with hippie snacks, cauliflower crisp. So a lot easier to procure. Just walk into a grocery store and you can grab one of these or a convenience store if they have them as well. And they're so delicious. I really do enjoy the classic ranch. I think that, that one's my favorite. But this one is also really good too. I would imagine I'd probably use it with guacamole or with salsa. Very delicious. If you would like to win a Hippie Snacks package filled with the cauliflower crisp mentioned in this video and the avocado crisp, tag a friend in the comments below that you try recipes with. I will randomly choose a winner next Friday. Good luck! And I will see you guys next time. Bye!